Do you feel cold? Hi. A little. <laughs> Hi. Is this better? This is my answer. You accept it? Miss Liu, why are you here? Oh, Monsieur. Here's the material you wanted. Oh, thank you. What happened? Nothing, it's just a little cut. Come, let's get you treated. Ah, uh, no need. I insist. Come on. Thank you. No problem. Monsieur! I don't need it. Let's go. Go. You'll be in the spotlight wherever you go. Is that okay? It would have to be. There you are. 
I'm sorry I couldn't meet you. Hey, is all that screaming because of you? You bet it's because of me, but also because we just announced our relationship. What? You just made a comeback, remember? How could all you- All right, all right, calm down and take it in slowly. Hands off. But how do I explain this? I- See that? He's a bully. Dirty. You're too dirty. He's just kidding. Am I dirty? Wait, you might catch a cold. Put this on. There. Look. This is a happy ending for everyone. Gawain and Lei Ming are made for each other. They're cut together. Lei Ming and I have grown up and fallen in love. In the future, we'll each have our own families. Separating was just a matter of time. Good luck, Lei Ming. I have something to ask you. However, Since you're so close to me, Duo. Look at that guy on TV. Do you know him? It's him again. Why? Have you met him? Was it when you were with Miduo? I don't know him. I just saw Miduo watching the same thing earlier, and she seemed nervous. Mr. Lin. Does this man know me duo? You bet he does. He was with me duo before. And now he's with Gao Wen. And Gao Wen is Xiao Liang's ex-girlfriend. The relationships between them are quite interesting. Aren't you done checking? Miss Yi Wen, you don't have to be so serious. Just relax, okay? Hey, when you want to remove your makeup, I recommend using this, an easy-to-use cleansing oil. Gawen uses it too. Take a look. I'm telling you, this white tea cleansing oil is so amazing. It's a bestseller online. Hey, do you think you can take it easy on us today? Oh, and this is yours. If you want more, I'll talk to the sponsor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay, thanks. Oh, Gawen, excuse me. <laughs> Miss Go. Miduo, you're here. Today's your shoot, of course I have to come. Um, by the way, I saw the news about you and Dr. Lei. Congratulations. He actually came with me. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Congrats, Dr. Lei, on your relationship with Gawen. Hmm. Thank you. Sweetie, we need to do your mm. hair. Can you give me my phone? Oh, right. The hospital just called. I'm gonna call them back. Mm. Okay. He looks more handsome on TV. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit, okay? I need to use the restroom. Congratulations. You're finally with someone you like. Again? Didn't you just say that? 
Why didn't you tell me anything, Yiming? What she said was right. Since we're all grown up now, we should keep a certain distance. I didn't tell you about Gawen. Because until she announced it, I had to keep quiet. I hope you can understand that. I understand. Gawain's a famous star. You should be discreet. Hey, do take her seriously. The same goes for you. Do you think that we'll still be in touch? When I'm away, take care of yourself. Mm. You should go back. You still have work. Go on, go. Hurry up. You should have told me earlier. Exactly. What should we do? Me do all. all right. What's the matter with this? Everything it matches none of the outfits. Now remember, I don't want anyone to mess up. Take care of it. This isn't the proposal I sent. When she once sent it to me yesterday, I did a thorough check. There shouldn't be anything wrong. This isn't the proposal I gave you. Yes, I know that it isn't. Is there any chance you made a mistake? I made a mistake? This is the only proposal you sent. There's no problem with the outfits, only with the jewelry. What on earth has happened? Hey, what are you arguing about? You see, sir, I... They sent me the wrong proposal. I'm sorry, Director. I'm afraid we can't shoot today. I didn't give the wrong one. Like I said, this isn't the proposal I sent. Can you prove this isn't the one you sent? If you're right, that means I'm wrong. Enough, stop arguing. Everyone's looking. Hey, think about it. What could have happened? Why is it the wrong proposal, okay? Find out quickly, or else we'll lose a lot of money. Being the director, I'm responsible. The problem didn't come from my end. I know. I'll give Xiao Liang a call. When I delivered the proposal, he was with me. He can vouch for me. Excuse me, are you trying to intimidate me? Or do you just want everyone to know that you're Mr. Xiao's girlfriend? Young girls nowadays, they have no sense of shame. Enough. Stop talking nonsense. I just spoke with Mr. Xiao. I've informed him of what's happened and he gave specific orders. The concerned departments must take immediate changes and revise the shooting plan. Also, you must report all of today's losses to him. Xiu, it wasn't it's okay. me. That's what Mr. Xiao said. Get back to work. <sighs> I never thought a company like yours could mess things up this much. Okay, pack everything up. We're not shooting. Sweetie, it seems something's happened. And what's that? No idea, but I heard the crew's packing up. Looks like there's no shoot. Let's go home. Shall we go home, Lele? Hmm? Shall we? I can't go home until later. I have a surgery. You shouldn't even go there at all. Gawain just made a successful comeback. The press has camped near her house. He'll cause a scene it's if you're there. It's hard for me to be in a relationship. Don't make it harder. Sorry, sweetie. You know how bad things can get. I beg you to, don't make any trouble for me, okay? Yes, your majesty, as you wish. <laughs> dirty. You're too dirty. <laughs> hey, it's not funny at all. Your majesty. Stop it! You too. <laughs> Miduo. To you, has Xiaoyang told you anything? Oh, don't worry about it. 
How could I not be worried? I gave Yechi the right proposal. She's obviously setting me up. Mr. Xiao also said the same thing. He too believes that there is something wrong with Yechi. Really? Are you sure he believes me? Of course he does. You're his girlfriend. The truth is I've been kind of worried since Yechi suddenly showed up. I'm worried that she's trying to destroy what Xiaoliang and I have by using her influence. I'm just really worried we might stop trusting each other. <laughs> but if Xiaoliang chose to believe me instead of her, then there's nothing to worry about. Mr. Xiao only looks aloof on the outside, but deep down in his heart, the person he cares about and wants to protect the most is you, Miduo. <laughs> Got it? So stop worrying, okay? <clears throat> Mr. Lin, Miduo messed up and... I know what happened. You sure you didn't give the wrong proposal? Of course I didn't. Even though I don't like her, I wouldn't go so far as to do that. It seems yet she's behind this then. Why do you say so? I'm an expert on jealous women. You can't imagine what they're capable of. But Mr. Xiao doesn't trust her. By doing this, she'll gain nothing and only lose. Well, it's too early to tell who's winning and who's losing. Do you think I'll get blamed for what happened? Relax. All you need to do is to follow Ye Chi's lead and help make her act convincing. I see. Anyway, I asked you to investigate Mido and that guy. How's that going? They do have a special personal relationship. Mr. Lin, what should we do next? I've already failed once. I will not fail again. So yet, yeah, you should dig into that guy's life. As for Miduo, I'll deal with her. Father! Something happened. One of the projects is in trouble. Oh, there's no need to get so anxious over one project. This time it's different. Miduo gave the wrong proposal. And the whole project's been delayed. Miduo? Who's this Miduo? Ah. That girl you told me about the other day? Yes, father. That's her. Now my brother is covering up for her. I don't know what to do about it. Leave Xiaoliang alone. As for Miduo, tell HR to handle her. But what do I do if my brother learns of this? Tell him it was my decision. Now go. Yes. How's it going? The problem's been solved, so don't worry. Did you solve it for Miss Ye? It wasn't for her, but for you. After what happened with the last design proposal, I decided to keep you away from office politics. Thank you. Hello? What's the matter? What is it? My father knows about what happened. Huh? How did it get to the chairman so quickly? Why did he call you? What did he tell you? Well, the answer is obvious. He's decided to demote you and relocate you to a retail store. A store? What can I do there? Sales. Good afternoon, nurse. Uh, I'm looking for Dr. Lei Yiming. Oh, Dr. Lei isn't here right now. May I ask who you are? Oh, I'm in a hurry to find him. Mm, would you happen to have his home address? You want his home address? Why? Well, I have something urgent to tell him. That's why I really need to. I'm sorry, but there are too many people poking around Dr. Lei. They're from the papers and TV stations. Don't worry, I'm not a reporter. I'm an old friend from college. <laughs> Are you? I went to the same college as him. What was your major? Who was your advisor? Were you in a club or a circle? I'm sorry. Never mind. I'll come back another time. I'm sorry, sir, but we're closed. I'm Xiaoliang from Tassiro. I need to see Monsieur. Oh, it's you, Mr. Xiao. Miss Yes in her office. It's this way. What are you doing here, Tang Wei? You asked me for a divorce. And I am agreeing. But let's be clear. You're not getting a single penny from me. 
I am your lawful wife. At the very least, I am entitled to alimony. <sighs> entitled? You married me without any dowry. All of the food, all of the wine, every bit of it, every drop all came from me! How dare you even mention the word entitled! You know, you're extremely lucky I even agreed to marry you. Don't forget, you're nothing but useless trash! You hit me? How dare you hit me, you worthless trash! You don't want to mess with me! Oh. What are you doing? Teaching my wife a lesson. But out of this! No matter who you are, you don't lay a hand on a woman. Get him out of here! I don't want to see his face. Follow me. Is that guy your ex-husband? Yes. Ever since I filed for divorce, he never forgave me. And now he's chased me to China. How are you? Are you hurt? What were you doing in my office? To ask you for a favor. Okay. It's about Midua. I want you to help me find out what happened and find the real source of the problem. Xiaoliang, you love Midua so much that you'd rather ask for a favor than admit it's her fault. Don't you think that's going too far? I trust Midua. She would never make a mistake as stupid as this. There's a lot on my mind. Let's talk about this later. Since you're so eager to help me duel, I promise. I'll go to your office tomorrow and explain. Thanks. Why is your arm bleeding? Don't touch me. What's going on? He did this. I have wounds like this all over. I'm used to it. Did your ex hurt you a lot? Yes. And it's because he knows I've never loved him. I've always loved someone else. Is it because I'm a divorcee? That's why you don't like me? 
It's not that. It's because I'm in a relationship. We'd better keep our distance. And if she's out of the picture, do you think we could start over? I can't imagine life without her. Yet she... We can't get back together. Forget me. Oh. I hope you can still keep your promise. I'll see you at the office tomorrow. Is she willing to explain what happened? Mm. She is. Thank you. Wait, why is there blood on your hand? Oh, uh, it's not my blood, it's Yechi's. She cut her arm. She did it to herself, trust me. <sighs> what do you mean by that? Xiaoliang, yet she's a very sophisticated person. She's really more complicated than she looks. For example, I think she has something to do with the whole wrong proposal thing. And yet she's agreed to explain. Don't you think there's something fishy about it? And besides, a woman who hurts herself to court sympathy is a little frightening. <sighs> Miduo, I saw it with my very own eyes, yet she was hurt by someone else. She's miserable. Look, I know Yechi's been mean to you, but you shouldn't assume things you don't know. I know how to handle Yechi, so I hope you won't run wild with speculations. Promise me, okay? She's lying to you, Xiaoliang. Xi Yuan and I both saw it. Yechi hurt her arm even before the day of the shoot. I told you, not to judge a book by its cover. I know Yechi better than you do. What do you mean by that, Xiaoliang? Eat your food. Miduo! Why are you so late? I've been waiting the whole night. You weren't waiting for me, but there's a bunch of people outside who were. Don't mind them. Just walk straight into my house. Like you said, it's no big deal. You can always throw them out again. There's no way I'd do that. If I did, Jason would kill me. If he didn't, your fans would probably yeah, hire a hitman would. to take me out. Please spare me that kind of trouble. I have a lot of living left to do. I know you've been working hard, so I got you a present. <sighs> what? I have a present? I'm warning you. No big surprises, please. My heart can't take Why it. Why would I give you one? Come on, it's right there. Put your head against it. Wait, my head. Will the fist jump out of the box when I open it? Of course it? not. Go on, open it. Are you really sure? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow, it's so adorable. What made you think of buying him? You've been talking about the dog in your apartment. I thought if I bought you a puppy, you wouldn't have to go back to your place so often. Thank you, Goan. Don't thank me. You're my boyfriend. I'm supposed to treat you well. I'm glad you like it. I do like it. If only we'd met each other earlier. But it wasn't too late, was it? Call him. Don't call him. Call him. Don't call him. Call him. Don't call him. Okay. I'll give him a call. Hello. Oh, does he have a name? Let's call him Pudding, okay? Pudding? Mm. That's a good name. It suits him. Pudding. Pudding, pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Pudding, pudding. pudding.
Hello? Hi, Lei Ming. I have something to tell you. Xiao Ling was... Is this important? Because if it's not, let's just talk tomorrow, okay? Who's that? Nobody. You should go to sleep. Daddy? Daddy. So I'm a father now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm mommy and you're daddy. So we have a puppy Isn't for a that baby. Right, pudding? <laughs> From HR, I was demoted. Give me some time. I'll figure out a way for you to come back. I can take care of my own business. I'll finalize things with them now. Hello, Mr. Xiao. Hang on. Yeji's arm was hurt before the shoot. Did you know that? I have no idea. Here we go. Mr. Xiao, have you seen that memo from HR? This is too sad. Are you gonna let Midoa leave like this? If she wants to leave, then let her. Yes, that's me. Oh, go and get changed after this. We're required to wear uniforms here. Later, I'll give you some materials on sales etiquette. Be sure to read up. You will also have to learn selling skills and customer service skills and get to know our rules here. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's right. Everyone's busy at the moment, so I'll introduce you to the team another time. Why don't you go to that counter and get a feel for it? Once you're familiar with the store, I'll appoint a senior associate to you. Great, thank you. Mm. Makeup is done, Miss Gao. You can rest now. Okay. Miss Gao, this is the jewelry you're going to wear. Why are you here? I thought Midua was in charge of that. I'm sorry. I suppose you don't know. She's no longer part of this project. Why is that? She gave Miss Ye the wrong materials, which ended up delaying the shoot. The company transferred her to a retail shop. Let's try and put that in. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Yechi. Also. Do you expect me to wear those rags? What do you mean, Miss Go? What do I mean? Why bother asking when you already know the answer? If this is about Miduo and how she got kicked out of this project, you're barking up the wrong tree. That's not my fault. <laughs> you did something that I warned you against. It seems you have a bad memory. Listen, young lady. I've never picked a fight with you. I've shown you enough respect in front of people. But it doesn't mean that to me, you are untouchable. Don't think too highly of yourself. Who do you think you are? To treat me like I'm worse than dirt. Your photos have gone viral on the internet. Don't you have any sense of decency? I may be shameless, but I'm still better than you. You try to hurt your ex for your own interests. You deserve to suffer the way you do now. What are you doing? Don't you know that Gowan's my girlfriend? If you dare touch her, you will have to deal with me.
Come on, babe, this way. Oh, Great. honey, we haven't been spending a lot of time together, so you have to make it up to me. Sure, no problem. Tell me, so which one do you like? I will buy it for you. Really? Of course. Well, then I guess I want the biggest diamond. If you tell me which one you like, I'll take it out for you. Thanks, miss. Could you please take that one out for me? Ah, uh, that one's too tacky. How about... There, that one. May I see it? What's that? You've got to be kidding me. It's so small. And it has the same design as your wife's jewelry. I don't like it. I want a bigger diamond. Oh, just look at you. You look pretty even when you're angry. This one is definitely bigger than hers. No, I want the biggest one. Come on, baby. All you have to do is try it on. I don't want to. Do it for me, babe. Oh, but I want a big one. All right, babe. Hey, what are you looking at? Get me that big one now. I'm sorry. I can't sell your diamond. What? Huh? And why not? My baby wants that big one. Give it to her. No, because she's not your wife. You've made a vow. Why are you cheating on her? If she knew you were cheating, it would surely break her heart. If she knew you were having an affair, do you know how much it would hurt her or how sad she'd feel? And what? as for you, why do you choose to be a home wrecker? You're stealing another woman's husband and ruining a family. There are so many men in the world. Why not let him go? Why you... 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 Wh where's your manager? Manager! Manager! Where are you? A sales associate has only one job, to provide our customers with the best service. You had no right to meddle in their private affairs. You even criticized them in public. You've committed a serious offense. Do you realize how bad this could be for us? Diamonds are forever. They're the symbol of everlasting love. If I sold a diamond to a home wrecker, it would be a great insult to the diamond. Have you read the manual? Whoever walks through our doors becomes our customer. And the customer is king. I wouldn't want a king like that. We all know that you transferred from headquarters, and that you have powerful people backing you up. But retail is all about sales volume. Your actions have ruined the efforts of a sales team and possibly the whole store. I hope you reflect on your behavior. Something happened to me, Duo. What happened to her? Is she hurt? Oh no, she isn't. She caused some trouble in the store. She offended a customer and got scolded by her boss. <clears throat> you should have told me that first. Right. Me, Duo must be really miserable. She was demoted and now she's being scolded. I feel sorry for her. Mr. Shao, I bet she could really use some company right now. Is the store she works at close by? Yes, very close. A U-turn away. Fine. How's your new job? Why are you here? to see how you're doing. Do you finally believe everything I've told you? We'll talk about that later. When do you get off work? I'm gonna take you to dinner. I have no time today. You might as well take someone else. Oh. Huh? Why did she walk away? Leave her alone. Give her some time. Time? It took you two hours to get here. And then she just leaves like that? some nerve. Are you turn away? I'm sorry, Mr. Shao. <sighs> Miduo's far away now. I helped make that possible. And now, the rest is up to you. Thank you. Yechi, you have to take down Xiaoliang while Mido is not around. We don't want any extra trouble, right? Relax. 
Why? Do you already have a plan? What do you think? bottle and drink with me <laughs> you can sleep now you're home what home <laughs> you think this is my home it's a very cold and cheerless place this is not my home I lied to you about what secret to tell you. When I left you, I lied to you. I pretended to betray you, that I have another man. Then I got married and left. Do you know why? Because my disappearance would make your father allow you to return to your family. You're drunk. Sleep it off. 